Good morning, students, and welcome. Myself, Janis Shah, Assistant Professor at LJ College of Engineering and Technology. Today, we are going to learn about the next topic, which is introduction to stack and stack operations. But before that, I would like to say that in our previous lecture, we studied about the algorithm analysis, then sparse matrices, then introduction to data structure, and types of data structure. Okay, so here it is the second type of data structure which is stack. So let's begin. First, the outlines. Outlines, the first one is introduction to data structure. Next is operations on stack, like algorithm and function. Operations on stack are push, pop, pip, and change. For each and every operation, we are going to learn two things. First one is algorithm and second one is a function. Okay, so let's begin with the first thing. Introduction to the stack. So here, the stack. Students, what do you mean by the stack? I have already studied you the stack in the first lecture. Okay. So stack is a linear data structure. Kindly focus over here on my hands and the movement of, of my hands, okay? So stack is a linear data structure in which insertion of new element will be occurred at one end and deletion of that element at the occur at one end. Both ends are same, okay? So stack is a linear data structure in which insertion of a new element and deletion of the element occurs at only one end and that end is known as top. So here, top is a pointer. What is top? Top is a pointer, which pointing to the topmost element of the stack. So, sir, so what is the need of pointer? Pointer shows the end of the stack. I always say, pointer shows the end of the stack. Why hand of the stack? Because pointer top, pointer pointing to the topmost element of the stack. If top points to the third element, then stack size is three. Suppose stack is a dynamic, then if top pointing to the third element, then stack is like this. Top pointing to the fourth element, stack size is this. So top is always shows the end of the stack. Okay, after that, you will not able to find out the elements in stack. Okay, so the next one is any insertion operation in stack, any insertion operation in stack is known as push and any division operation from stack is known as pop. So students, let's see. If I am going to insert four values, 10, 20, 30, 40, again, I am going to insert four values 10, 20, 30, and 40. Then what happened and what is the position of stop? Okay, let's start. Please focus over here. Okay, if this is my stack, if this is my stack, stack is empty. Stack is empty. At that time, pointer top points to nothing. Now, stack has 10 elements. See, 10. So pointer top pointing to the 10. Now insert 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40. Okay, so this is the position of top pointer. Now 10, 20, 30, 40. This is the 40 element. Okay, now if I want to remove something, then which will be removed first? 40, which will remove first? 40. So what is the last inserted element? 40. That's why stack follows LIFO manner. Last in, first out manner. Let me show with one example. See, here. This is empty stack. At the time, top points to nothing. Now, if I'm going to insert a two, push two. Push means insert something. Push means insert something. Here I'm inserting second value, two. That means two, top pointing to the second. Now, inserting five, top pointing to the five. Inserting seven, top pointing to the seven. Inserting one, top pointing to the one. Okay, this is my stack. This is my stack. Now, listen. Here, 
what is the last element up to this one two three four and fifth figure here what is the last element which is inserted that is one that is one now if i want to remove this remove something for remove what we have we have pop operation for remove we have pop operation please listen it carefully we have pop operation okay so here the top one top is pointing to one now if i want to remove one which is last inserted so the last inserted element here remove first last inserted first out last in first out last in first out that's why stack follows leaf format see last l in i first f o o out leaf format okay see here if i am removing one then top again pointing to seven and inserting something then top pointing to 21 removing something top pointing to again seven removing seven top pointing to five removing five top pointing to two these operations how the operations are working we will see in our next slide see the first operation on stack is okay so here the operations on stack the first one is push push means if this is a stack then push means insert something right now next is pop pop means remove something remove something okay next pip pip means fetch ith element from top of the stack fetch ith element from top of the stack okay the next one is change change ith element from top of the stack student if you have if you have seen something here each and every element or each and every operation on stack will be performed at the top end so top is a very important part of the stack without it we cannot ever imagine the stack okay top is a very important part of the stack so push pop peep change each and every operation performing on the stack will be done at the top end or using top okay so next insert something which is known as push and removing something which is known as pop okay so let's see the first operation which is push push operation before starting any algorithm i would like to say something to you that here in each and every algorithm of data structure i am referring a book which is known as our reference book trembly and sorensen in trembly and sorensen what happened that each and every each and every algorithm in each and every algorithm they took array index starts from one so students here for each and every algorithm we took array index one array index starts from one so please listen it carefully and please note it down in your notebooks that for algorithms array index starts from one and for programs we take it array index starts from zero okay so please focus on that here array index starts from one okay let's begin with the push operation here you see something that before that this operation i am writing procedure push procedure push okay have you ever seen the return type of function do you know the return type of function if function return integer value the return type of that function is integer if function returns float value the return type of function is float okay like integer sum brackets return i where i is integer then return type of function is integer if function returns float return type of function is float if function return character return type of function is character if function re returns data structure the return type of function is data structure right okay so the thing is that whatever the element of data whatever the data type of element which is returning something in the function that will become the return type of that function but what happened if the function returning nothing 
if function returning nothing then the return type of the function is void void sum brackets void sum bracket void subtraction brackets okay you usually write this void the void shows that that some function returning nothing same like that if in algorithm algorithm returns nothing what we write we write procedure we write procedure okay so just connect your function to the algorithm okay in function if function returns nothing that means the return type will become void in algorithm if algorithm returns nothing that means return type become procedure fine okay okay what to take another thing in function like integer if i want to add two values if i want to add two values then what should i write integer sum then in brackets integer a integer b okay again integer sum in brackets integer a integer b okay i usually write this so if what is integer a integer b okay integer a and integer b are the parameters parameters which i should pass into the function okay so same like that in algorithm we have some parameters arguments usually we say arguments of the function or arguments of the procedure algorithm okay so here push algorithm returns nothing that's why it's a procedure function name algorithm name is push and the data type sorry and the arguments are s top and x sir how how do you select the arguments okay students what we need to do what we need to do if i want to add two numbers then arguments becomes integer a integer b okay if i want to add three numbers argument becomes integer a integer b integer c three arguments are there so whatever you take inside the function it should be in its argument okay same like that here what i want to do i want to do insert insert an element x insert an element x at top end of the stack s again i am repeating it again i am repeating it that i want to insert an element x c the position of my mouse pointer again i am aim want to insert the element x at top of the stack s at top of the stack s so s represent our stack top represent the top pointer and x represent the element which we are going to insert at top position fine okay so here before starting algorithm what i do i just declare the function or i just declare the algorithm how the first will be my return type i don't want to return anything that's why in function return type is procedure the next one is the name of the algorithm name of the algorithm is push the third one is data type sorry arguments arguments of the algorithm how many arguments are there three arguments are there as represent stack top represent top element of the stack and x represent the in value which is inserted on top of the stack fine okay so let's start with the next how the algorithm works so here we have three variables s top and x so let's begin with the algorithm what will be my first step is c here i am taking one stack okay this is my stack what i recently told you that in this algorithm the array index starts from 1 so here we have stack size 5 the first element is situated at 1 2 3 4 and 5 fine is that clear to understand okay now see i have already inserted 20 element over here so my top is pointing to the second position of array second position see array index is second the value is 20 again index is 2 value is 20 fine so what is the value of top okay the value of top is 2 the value of top is 
ओके वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एलिमेंट सिचुएटेड एट टॉप दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू थिंग्स वैल्यू ऑफ टॉप इज टू एंड द एलिमेंट एट टॉप इज ट्वेंटी फाइन बिकॉज टॉप पॉइंटिंग टू द टॉप एलिमेंट ऑफ द स्टैक नाउ लेट स्टार्ट सो य the step number 1 students whenever we need to insert something in the stack or in any data structure okay if i want to insert something what i should to check is overflow condition so why overflow just taking an example if in class we have 30 seats okay 30 36 30 are there in the class if one student all seats are full All seats are full. If one student came and asked me, "Sir, may I come in?" But there is no place to sit. I said, "No. The class is overflow. Now I cannot insert or I cannot allow any student to come inside the class." Same like that. If your stack, if your stack is getting overflow, your stack is getting overflow. No other element will be inserted. fine so what will be my first condition to check the step number 1 is check for overflow students you have already studied algorithm in your previous subjects like cpu but you have to follow this manner during algorithm writing because this is a standard manner according to our reference book fine so what is that first you need to write step 1 then whatever the step you want to do you just need to write it down here i need to check the overflow then i am writing check for stack overflow you can also write that check stack full or not is stack full question mark this all statements are valid but your statement should be related to your step fine okay so what will be my the first condition to check see here the top is pointing to 2 now if i want to insert something the top is pointing to be 3 next 4 next five again 3 4 5 so here top is pointing to the fifth position if the stack is full fifth is the size of the stack size of the stack is n size of the stack is n so such like that n is the size of the stack so that here what happen that students see here i am taking one another variable n i just forgot to add it so recently i just added it as top x and n four arguments i need how am i deciding to add the n because here i am going to compare the top element of the stack a top pointer of the stack with the size of the stack n shows the size of the stack if the size of the stack is 5 then when the top pointing to the fifth element of the stack it shows an error that now the stack is full okay so that to check the overflow condition what i did i just i am just taking another element or another argument in the function which is n what is n n is a size of the stack okay now let's start so here check for the overflow condition how what is the check overflow condition for us if the top pointing to the n what is n n is 5 n is Five. If the top pointing to the n, then then the stack will become full. Stack is full. So the condition is if top is greater than equal to n, then write stack is overflow. Then write stack is overflow and return. Okay. So I have written over here return, but am I returning something? No. Return x. Return y. Return zero. Return one. Return two. Am I returning something? No. Return statement shows that here the algorithm is completed. You should not go ahead. Okay. So, but if the condition become false, then what happens? Then see the next step is increment the top pointer. See if I want to insert something. Taking an example of this figure here, top pointing to the twenty element stack is full. Yes or no? No, stack is not full. So what I should do? I can insert something. I can insert more. So before inserting an element, what you need to do is to increment the top pointer. 
so the top pointer will become the position of the top pointer pointing to the third index of the arrow increment the top pointer okay see the difference between these two figures first top pointer pointing to the second element now top pointer pointing to the third element okay so next is s of top arrow x s of top arrow x insert an element step number 3 is insert an element okay what is our element is x x okay it should be inserted at the top of the stack okay listen if array index array index a0 array is a and 0 then what i should say it a of 0 a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 such like that here there array is s so what will be the first element is s of 1 s of 2 s of 3 s of 4 okay so but the here top value is 3 so i can say that s of top s of top arrow x so the x will become the 30 which is inserted at this position fine okay what is our motto our motto is to insert something in the stack fine okay and the next step is finish isn't it easy you just need to follow the four step step number 1 is to check whether the stack is overflow or not how will you check it if the top pointer pointing to the n then stack is overflow after that second step is to in increment top pointer okay again if i want to push 40 okay then what i need to do to first increment the top pointer and insert the 40 top arrow top plus 1 then as of top arrow 40 If I again want to insert something in the top of the stack, top arrow top plus one, and again fifty. Now, if I want to insert after this, what happen? Let's trace an algorithm. See, step number one. Step number one. Check for the stack overflow. Top is greater than or equal to n. Top is greater than or equal to n. What is the value of top? Fifty? No. Five. Five is the value of element at top. Okay. So. So fifty is the value of element at top. Five is the value of top. Now compare five greater than equal to five. Size of size of stack is five. Top value is five. Five greater than equal to five. Condition is true. Condition is true. So stack is overflow. Stack is overflow. Fine. Such like this, we can say the stack is overflow. Students, I am completing my this lecture till push operation. okay but in our next lecture we are talking about the push operation c function then pip pop and change okay till that if you have any query in push operation then please feel free to contact me thank you